What's up guys, Tekshan here, back with another video. Many wanted me to check out a bar. Finally, here it is. Huh? Shan, what is that? Uh, nothing, nothing, nothing. Mm-hmm. Huh? This is not the bar I wanted. Hey, dude. This is what you're looking for? Sure. <laughs> Anyways, finally here is the much requested Mi soundbar that Xiaomi wants you to attach to your TV which might have bland speakers. This can get you an amplified sound experience. Here is the retail box. Given that the product is aggressively priced at 4999 good to see not much spent on some fancy packaging. Which anyway you'll throw after you open the product, isn't it? <laughs> this is just a normal cardboard box. How is this? Time to tell you my side of the story. Before that, if you end up liking this video, make sure to hit that like button. Alright. Opening up the box, we have the installation guide in white. A white SPDIF cable, wall mount screws. Yes, you can wall mount this bar or place it on a table. Then the all white sound bar itself, secured in a white thermocol. A white power adapter, white, white, white. <laughs> Alright, here is the Mi sound bar, all white, divine looking. Appleish looks because of its all white color and some design being borrowed from Google Home. Well, it's quite long at approximately two and a half feet. Shan, Shan, this time we definitely need the exclusive texture comparison. Yes, 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 yes. yes, mm. yes. Mm. Well, it's the size of 6 5 star bars lengthwise and to give you an idea about the top surface alone, then it's the size of 12 5 star bars. Another exclusive texture and comparison. How sweet. Now let's take a closer look. As said, the bar shaped speaker looks sleek and stylish. With a fabric mesh front, no doubt it will accentuate your living area. Behind the fabric part is where the magic happens, where it has not one or two but totally eight sound drivers. As you see here, two tweeters, four passive radiators and two two and a half inch woofer drivers. All this translates to a good sound experience, which I'll talk about in a bit. Back you have two holes for wall mounting, then the ports for connectivity, power adapter port, Digital optic port which I always prefer, however the box does not have a cable, you need to buy one separately. Then the SPDF port which the box has a cable. Line in port, the usual red white audio cable for connecting to old TVs, again to be bought separately. Then the usual aux in port so you can connect using a normal 3.5mm cable. And finally an on off switch. Apart from that, the main thing is this has Bluetooth 4.2 support, so you can connect to it wirelessly from your phone or to your smart TV. Top has the controls to choose the input based on how you have connected the bar to your TV. One click and it's so easy. You also get the volume controls. Bottom rubber base for grip. So yeah, the main purpose of this bar is to amplify the sound experience of your TV which usually does not come with powerful speakers. So this is a bridge between you buying an expensive home theater speaker or living with what your TV offers. Helps you burn little money yet get a good audio experience from your TV. I have connected this to my Samsung Smart TV via digital optic cable and as said before the first positive starts here, the audio quality. It is surprisingly good given its price. Xiaomi has definitely done a good job. Vocals are clear, bass is adequate, overall loud enough for a small room. Though you can't expect home theater level thumping bass and all, keep that in mind as it does not have a dedicated subwoofer. So I would suggest keep your expectations low on that front. Overall I'm happy with the audio output. Frankly showing you an audio demo is of no use as what you hear is what your device speaker gives you, the one you're watching this video on. Still, here is a sample. Let's take that spot the vocal gave me my first swimming lesson. I already know how to swim. 
not even close. You have to forget all the teaching of the surface world. Second comes the compact form factor and good looks, which makes it easy to place it anywhere. Third comes the ample connectivity options including Bluetooth, so I can connect it to my smartphone, TV or even my PC, whatever device I want and enjoy music, movies and whatnot with an amplified sound experience. And finally the price, at 4999 definitely is a good buy if you're not looking to spend much yet want a soundbar. Now if you ask me, is there something that bothers me about this Mi sound bar? Well, nothing major but I do have three small things. First would be the white color option only. Given our weather and environment conditions, you can imagine what color this can turn after a few months of usage. Definitely expect multicolors. <laughs> a darker variant like black would have been better. Also in a setup like mine which is all dark, it kinda sticks out. Second, it does not have a remote control, which is quite annoying because if I connect it via digital optic cable, which I prefer the most, every time I need to go near the bar and adjust volumes. So this won't let me be a couch potato. <laughs> However, if you use aux or bluetooth, you can use the TV remote itself to control. But that is not something I want to do to enjoy good sound quality. And finally, this is only suitable for a small size room, as it does not get too loud. So if you have a big hall or room like mine, then definitely you will feel it's kinda low. Apart from that, if you're not looking to spend much yet want a good amplified audio experience from your TV or any other device, definitely you will like the Mi sound bar. Even if you wish, you can use this as a standalone speaker. The Mi sound bar will not disappoint you. For the price, I would say it's a good pick. So finally, you guys got to know my thoughts about the Mi sound bar. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button. New here? Subscribe as I have awesome tech content coming your way. We'll catch you in another exciting video. Until then. Don't forget to check out other cool videos on the channel.